Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome to my channel. Um, if you're new, welcome. My name is Fern. What is up? So today, I just wanted to film for y'all because it's been a while since I actually picked up my camera because I had so much footage that I had to edit. So I was just like, yeah, don't touch the camera for a while until you edit all your videos. And I've edited all of them. So here I am again. Um, I am on week four of my six weeks challenge. Um, to be honest, it hasn't been going like very well. Like, I'm very difficult. Like, I'm very hard on myself. That is so true. But like personally, I feel like my nutrition could have been so much better because I've really like sort of binge or just like overate um, during the nighttime for the past like two weeks, which I'm quite disappointed about. I was doing intermittent fasting, and I felt like after a while, I just had that pressure of like always you know like not eating until a certain um time or i don't know i just had this pressure and i felt like i wanted to like get away from it and my getting away from it was to eat like in front of the tv before i went to bed and it wasn't it's not healthy so as of this week I've changed and I've stopped doing the intermittent fasting. Um, I don't I don't like being like extremely strict to where like oh you have to do this, you have to do that and it's just it just puts too much pressure on me. Um, personally that's how I am. For my physique update, I am gonna like insert a little clip of what I look like right now. Personally, I don't feel like I've made any progress. My progress has probably worsened. I'm not very proud of that. However, Saying that, I am extremely proud of sticking to my cardio goals, which is to run 20Ks um, per week. I've done that for the past three weeks. I'm going into my fourth week now. I'm very, very proud of that. And also, I've been very consistent, or I've been like not very, I've been pretty consistent with my training. I've only missed like two training sessions since um, the start of the six weeks challenge, which I'm very proud of. So hopefully with the extra calorie intake and my intense workout, I've built some muscle, even though I know I've gained a little bit of fat, but hopefully I've gained muscle during that time as well. So hopefully all this comes out um, with a positive note at the end. So yeah, I might not be leaning down, but I might be gaining some muscle mass. I, crossing fingers. I probably am because I've been working intensely in the gym. And like I said, I've been adding cardio to just try to burn more calories. So this week is a new week and I will try my best to stay on track with my nutrition and also my exercise program. So just to recap everything, I lift six days a week and I do three cardio sessions on my upper body days. So basically on my upper body days, I'll do um, my runs in the morning. So I do, this is my plan, my schedule as of right now. My morning runs are on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So I do the most amount of like kilometers in the week um, on Tuesday, which I try to aim for the 10K, but this week I've split it differently. Um, next week I'll probably do the 10 and then five and then five. It just depends how I feel. Um, this week my knee has been acting up. Um, I have like a sore left, <laughs> I'm like trying to think, left or right, left knee and it's been acting up. So I'm like limiting my distance. Um, I push myself as much as I can, but you know, so that's where we are right now. And today I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. I have some Christmas shopping to do and I have um, shoulders and tricep workout I gotta do. And yeah, <laughs> let's get going because my camera is actually about to die. I'm just doing some shopping. I'm at this DIY shop in Pattaya. Um, I got myself some wrapping paper and I, got the, I found this thing, it's a snake catcher. Like seriously, this is so handy because I actually have snakes um, at my house. We've found like several and I bought some, got some boots because I need to do some gardening and 
they're really good to protect your feet um, I love this shop because there's so many things that I don't actually need but they're so cute basically I'm here because I need to get some Christmas stuff and just to like decorate my house and perhaps find some gift or something like that so yeah that's what I'm doing right now was this like made for me the bags under my eyes are designer <laughs> I don't know if you guys um, saw my last vlog and I was talking about my under eye bags like so funny they have so many cute notebooks here but I'm looking for something like this you know it's like a planning a planner thingy Majigger bobber and she loves cats but I can't seem to find another one that is like in the package I found this one of flamingos uh, an organizer, that's the word that I was looking for. Um, there are so many cute like notebooks as well. Oh, how cute! <sighs> Messy bun and getting stuff done. Mm. Too glowy. Oh, that's glittery. So many cute stuff here but i'm looking for this darn cat one every day is catterday i know she'll love this um but i can't seem to find it <laughs> this one was made for me i don't need an inspirational quote i just need coffee like seriously what do we have what other stuff do we have? oh my god I'm dropping everything um, the other one I found is work hard so you can shop harder. Very cute. So many choices. What to get. One hour later. I just got to the gym. I started my workout already. I have to rush through my workout because I have to pick up my daughter from her badminton um, practice later on. So I don't know if I'm going to film every single exercise. I do. I will try my best, but like I said, I have to like rush through my exercises. So, for some reason, like the whole entire day, I thought I was gonna work shoulders and triceps today, but actually, I realized um, that it's actually my back and bicep day. So, I started the workout with some rare delt flies. This actually works to eat the back of your shoulders. I love doing these because I feel like my rare delts aren't as developed. So I I did that anyway with some dumbbell rows. 12 reps of each exercise. Make sure you guys like hold the bar on the descent just even if it's like a tiny like not even a second it's like good to really um, concentrate um, on that mind and muscle connection and really focus on that and the next exercise is the straight arm pull down with the wide grip bar I did 10 reps of each exercise <music> The next superset is the seated row. I did 12 reps, followed by um, some bicep curls. I did 10 reps per arm. When you perform your exercises, make sure you really have that mind and muscle connection. Don't like do reps just to do reps, but make sure all of your reps count, which means concentrate and try to keep as much tension on your working muscle as possible. Time under tension is so important for muscle growth and strength.
on to the last compound set, um, standing bent over cable rows. I did 12 to 15 reps of these. Philip, the guy that I talked about um, in my other video, a trainer I met in France, he actually showed me this back exercise. It's like one of my favorite exercises ever. It really hits and targets your whole entire like, back muscles. Um, I really, really love it. If you've never tried to, this exercise, please try it out. When you do this exercise, make sure you activate your core and that your back is nice and straight and your spine and your neck is aligned to each other. Um, you don't want to look up. Um, that's bad form. You'll hurt the lower part of your neck. And also just concentrate once again on the muscle tension, um, time under tension it is so 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 important. After doing the bent over cable row with both arms, I also did it with one arm at a time which also means unilaterally. Um, it helps isolate and correct any muscle imbalances you might have. It also utilizes a lot of your core, it aids to prevent any injury. I personally like to do unilateral exercises just to um, balance out any muscle imbalances I might have because everybody will have a stronger side, you know, like it's normal and you have to sort of correct it. On to the last, the last, the last exercise of the day, good mornings. As y'all know, this is one of my favorite exercises ever. It targets the glutes, the spinal erectors, the hamstrings, upper back, and it also helps stabilize your scapular. I did these for, I believe, 12 or 15 reps, and then I did some pulses at the end to really, really like feel the burn. hair is down, I just finished my workout. I did back and bicep today. I only did one exercise for bicep because my bicep is already pretty developed and I only do like biceps to basically maintain and make it a little bit stronger. So that's what I did today. I had a really good workout. Um, not really tired because I'm so used to doing cardio and lifting on the same like workout session. Whereas as of right now, I'm splitting my cardio in the morning and then I do my lifts in the afternoon or in the nighttime. So yeah, I don't feel exhausted or anything like that because like I said I'm so used to working out like cardio and lifting at the same time so this is a different change for me um yeah I really enjoyed my workout and I have to go and get my daughter from her badminton practice and I'll catch you guys later so look what I found when I got home chocolate chip muffins and donuts temptations temptations everywhere oh my gosh <laughs> so this is dinner it smells incredible. My kids are gonna have this with some fries. I'm gonna have it with some salad. Three hours later. So it has been a little while. It's actually 11, 11. Um, I had my shower. I'm just watching some TV, The Vikings. I'm in love with the series. And I'm just wrapping some um, Christmas gifts and drinking my infamous protein shake made with pasteurized egg white so yeah i'm just chilling because well it's the end of the day you know you have to relax um as well as grind um so this is my chill time and i'm just getting my little bits and pieces done and i just like to say um thank you for watching once again i didn't do much today sorry i didn't film much but i hope you guys enjoyed it anyways and leave some comments below like what kind of videos you'd like me to do. Um, I'd love to hear some suggestions. 
and don't forget to subscribe to my channel like if you liked this video and don't forget to hit the notification button notification button um so you guys are notified every time i put up a new video and yeah i hope you guys have a wonderful evening and i'll see you guys in the next video